At a makeshift camp in Puri, in Odisha, people affected by lymphatic filariasis learn how to manage their condition. Lymphatic filariasis, also known as elephantiasis, is caused by a parasite and is spread by mosquitoes. There are three levels of severity, ranging from a slightly swollen leg to a chronic swelling of the genitals, breasts, legs and arms. Infection is usually acquired in childhood, but the painful and disfiguring visible manifestations occur later in life. In this village in Puri, one in 17 people has lymphatic filariasis. Even in its mildest form, it can lead to discrimination and stigma. It doesn't have to be this way. An annual mass administration of drugs to all eligible people in endemic areas could eradicate lymphatic filariasis for good, providing it is done over a five-year period, at regular intervals. Experts say that government mismanagement of the drug campaign hampers efforts to eradicate the disease and is one factor in its steady increase. I mean, the mass drug administration should have been introduced exactly on 12-month cycle. So that cycle has broken. During the last rounds of MDA, there was a breakage in between twice. The breakage was uh, almost like 13, 14 months or 18 months. Do you think the irregularity in this supply has affected the program? No, I don't think it has affected. Because we are conducting the program every year, so the herd immunity is increased by that. Surveys carried out over the past two decades indicate that areas previously known to be free from filariasis are now showing low degrees of transmission. Elimination of the disease will only occur if there's an intensive government-led public awareness campaign. As it stands, the only education programmes are done by charities in a very limited capacity. Whatever awareness campaign government does uh, is not proper. They don't uh, do anything uh, on the awareness. And that is precisely the single most reason why it is increasing more and more.